Here it is looking all done. Welcome back to Self Built. We got a build video today. We are gonna be building this right here. Got a little bike, got it from Prime Day. Figured I could use an upgrade from my current bike. I've had this thing for I think like seven years. It's a Schwinn. It's nice that it's a recumbent bike and I got it off of uh, KSL. If you don't know what that is, just a secondhand website. I got it for 50 bucks and it's been awesome, but there's a few things that I've had some complaints about. Firstly, that the display is broken. It doesn't work. The heart rate monitors don't work. And whenever I turn it on to use it, it shuts off automatically every like four and a half minutes. So I have to keep pushing start and setting the resistance. So I figured I'd use this as an opportunity to replace it and it's gonna be a little bit smaller so it won't take as much room up in my gym. So let's get this thing out here and see what this looks like and how hard it is to build. Let's see, it's all packed in there nice and tightly. Ooh, fancy tools. Ooh, relax now. Don't remember. Don't forget to relax now. Earthquake! There, we got our bike gains. Now we're going. Oh yeah. All right, let me get this organized and cleaned up a little bit. Here's everything laid out, all the pieces and everything, so it makes a little bit more sense, a little more organized. First thing we're gonna install is the relax now part. This goes right in here. Four bolts, really easy. You've got your bolt, lock washer, and washer. This goes right through here, and it is threaded, so that's kinda cool. After that, we're gonna install this little fancy fancy right here. Oh yeah, look at that. I'll tighten it up once I get both sides done. Then, oh yeah, this baby. Cool, yeah. Now I'll do the front part. Time to put the pedals on. They call this a anaerobic adhesive. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okie doke, now we're ready to pedal stuff. Next we're gonna do the seat portion. This is gonna go like this. It looks like they've greased this so it goes in and out nice and easy. You also need this. This is what locks in. Now for the seat, the seat looks like it's got little pincher things. It's gonna pinch right onto here. That's pretty snug, not too bad. Next part is working on the little handles. Next part we're gonna do is working on the handles. Just take this out, loosen this up. Now we'll attach the handles onto here. All right, let's see what these things look like. Maybe. Woo! Oh, yeah. Heart rate monitor action. Whoop, those are just coming right off. Oh, yeah, I can feel it now. This funny looking thing is supposed to be here. And then, doesn't come with AA, AAA battery, so you gotta do that your own. And then it looks like you just slide right like these. Oh, getting somewhere. 
Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Gotta put some beauty covers on this thing. So this big one, there's one that's deep like this one and then there's a shallow one that goes on the other side. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Next we gotta hook up the speedometer and the pulse. Gotta take these off. They're already scratched. Or maybe, nope, just dirty. We're good. Gotta take this thing off. Woo! Nice. Okay, got everything. Doesn't have a backlight on here, but you can see it just fine. Here's all the things that it measures. And then I'm just gonna try this out a little bit. See what uh, we got going on. See if I can fit my shoes in here. So I'm six foot. Says it goes up to, I think it's like six four or something, much taller than me. Whoa, I feel like I'm falling down. And then you can adjust this. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yep. A lot more than I would go. Emergency brake. Cool. Here it is looking all done. Some of the key features I was looking for in a bike was one, having magnetic resistance. There's felt, then there's leather, and there's magnetic resistance. The best thing about magnetic is it's something that doesn't wear out. Eventually the other ones, they have to apply like a brake onto the flywheel and it eventually will wear out. With magnetic, that doesn't happen. So that's why I went with that. I just wanted something not have to worry about. And I also wanted the flywheel to be a decent weight. This one's 35 pounds. And according to the internet, most like spin class ones have 40 pounds. So it's pretty good quality as far as the weight. And then I also wanted to have heart rate monitor and something that I can put my phone so I can like watch a movie or whatever while I'm doing some biking. Keep my mind entertained while I'm doing this. I'll do a review on this after about, I don't know, a couple weeks or a month or so, just to see what my thoughts are. Cause I've been used to doing a recumbent mic the whole time. I haven't done one like this. So it'll be quite a change. It'll be nice cause I can have the same resistance, won't turn on and off. It's not electric in the sense of that is how you use it. I mean, this battery thing, yeah, that's nice and all, but you don't really need it. So I'll leave a link in the description below of the one that I got. Right now it's on sale. I think they have like a hundred dollar off coupon, crazy, which is like a third of the price. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think this, this thing was like 200 bucks. So we'll see how it goes. If you have any questions or anything on the bike, don't forget to leave it in the comments below. Or if you've got a bike similar to this, that was better. Definitely let me know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe means so much. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to tune in next time for more sale boo.